As the former captain of her college's computer science club, Maya has a lot of achievements. She built her own custom ThinkPad laptop, programmed a maze-running techno mouse, and taught countless local middle school students how to recreate Tetris in Scratch. But her biggest achievement came after graduation, when she started working for her former college and hacked into their student database, gaining access to thousands of students' personal information and showing their vulnerabilities. Now, computer hacking can be illegal. We have to say that, right? Obviously. But instead of landing her behind bars, Maya's hacking stunt landed her a promotion. That's because Maya is a white hat hacker. And after graduation, she got a job working for her college as a cybersecurity expert, hacking their systems to find vulnerabilities and stop others from gaining access. White hat hackers are a type of cybersecurity professional. And despite what you might think, it is their job to protect computer systems. They counter attacks by black hat hackers, who work against organizations to steal data, corrupt networks, and cyber spy on all your computer activities. Black hat hackers sound like bad guys, but just like those old black and white movies and the morals of their starring cowboys, the real world tends to be a little bit more gray. White and black hat hackers actually use a lot of the same methods. The difference is that white hat hackers do it with permission, working for organizations to protect their interests and clientele. Like Maya, who now spends her days on that same fully modded 512 RAM ThinkPad laptop, probing her colleagues' computer networks for vulnerabilities. Places in the network where protections are low and black hat hackers could make their way into the system. She out hacks the hackers, creating cyber defenses that shore up these vulnerabilities and keep the black hats out. By keeping the network safe, Maya also protects all the data stored in the network, including sensitive information like students' addresses, finances, and social security numbers. Not to mention that embarrassing Common App essay she wrote about her passion for a certain TV hacker. No, not that one. That's more like it. But Maya didn't learn her cyber magic all on her own. While she was captaining the computer science club, she also took classes to build her skills and earned a degree in cybersecurity. Hi, I'm Vanessa Hill, and welcome to Fast Guides, a study hall series that explores different college majors. In this episode, we'll be talking about cybersecurity degrees and what you can look forward to studying. While they don't have to wear real white hats on the job, white hat hackers like Maya are called that for a reason. Just like the old white-hatted cowboys of old Western movies were supposed to, cybersecurity experts are the ones who work within the law. Cybersecurity is the art of protecting digital assets like networks, devices, and information from unwanted or criminal access. Experts like Maya analyze those assets to find vulnerabilities, discover potential threats, and implement policies and controls that increase security and minimize risks for networks, organizations, and and computer users. And they stop highway robberies even better than those old-timey cowboys did. Most of the time, though, you won't see cybersecurity experts in a quick-draw duel outside the bank at high noon. Most cybersecurity work happens behind the scenes. Every time we log into our bank accounts, send an email, or even stream Western movies online, cybersecurity workers are there, protecting data from threats we don't even know exist. Because for every white hat hacker out there, there are even more black hatted outlaws trying to plant viruses, steal data, and threaten the online networks we depend on. Cybersecurity experts have to think outside the box to prevent cyber attacks. In order to do that, they ask themselves how black hat hackers could infiltrate and exploit their systems and build defenses to keep them out. And since black hat hackers are willing to try every trick in the book, cybersecurity security experts have to respond to many different types of threats. For instance, they protect systems and devices from malicious software or malware that hackers sneak in to compromise your digital devices. Like ransomware, a type of malware that infiltrates network systems to steal companies' data and holds it hostage until the company pays up. 
or Trojan horses that masquerade as harmless programs, only to crash systems and steal data once they're installed. Cybersecurity experts can protect against malware threats by creating antivirus programs that scan computer systems and incoming files for sneaky malware intruders. That way, malware can't enter the network, data stays safe, and no one can get their hands on Maya's self-insert fanfic about hacking with Penelope Garcia in the BAU. And large organizations with cyber ransom budgets aren't the only ones protected by cybersecurity. Anyone who uses the internet can be a victim of cyber attacks, and that includes you and me. We could be baited by phishing, a tactic used by cyber attackers to steal personal information. They send messages that look like they're from reputable sources, like your bank, your work, or your school, to trick you into sharing sensitive information, like your passwords, bank information, or social security number. Cybersecurity experts try to keep those sketchy emails out and make sure everyday users can spot common phishing scams. So you have all of them to thank for those cyber safety trainings your last job put you through. And you really should thank them. Phishing and other cyber attacks can compromise intellectual property and trade secrets, your identity, and your finances. They can disrupt business operations and even threaten national security. At the end of the day, the main job of a cybersecurity expert is to prevent cyber attacks before they occur and respond quickly if a security breach does happen. Businesses ranging from banks to saloons to Hollywood movie studios want to stay up and running, protect their information, and make sure their money is secure. And that means there's a huge need for cybersecurity experts in the professional world. If you want to become a cyber cowboy and stay one step ahead of those tricky black hat hackers, you can start by getting a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity. And no, you won't be learning how to ride a horse or rope a cow or win a shootout. You'll probably start with a lot of math and science classes instead. That's because cybersecurity is part of the broader field of computer science where experts work to develop, test, and troubleshoot software and software systems. Cybersecurity experts are computer wizards, solving problems, writing code, and developing real-world solutions to data and network security issues. To build those problem-solving skills, cybersecurity majors take courses in advanced calculus, algebra, and physics. From there, you'll get into computer science classes that prepare you for practical, on-the-job scenarios you'll encounter as a cybersecurity expert. These courses cover topics like digital system design, programming, data structures and algorithms, and discrete math. And as you advance through your degree, you'll take more computer science courses that focus specifically on cybersecurity, like computer networking and computer communications. These courses will give you a broad understanding of the fundamentals of computer security and best practices for network programming. From there, you'll be able to choose courses that focus on specific aspects of cybersecurity and cyber attacks. Like, you could take courses in cloud security, database management, or cyber law and ethics, which will help you understand how businesses and organizations store their data and the best ways to protect it. By the end of a cybersecurity program, you'll have learned how to defend digital spaces, computer environments, networks, and information from cyber attacks. And like Maya, you'll be ready to protect the world from cyber outlaws with the best quick draw pistol there is the knowledge and skills you gained through your cybersecurity degree. If you're already into tech, math, or computing, you'll probably thrive as a cybersecurity student. And you'll be well prepared if you've ever participated in a hackathon or coded a fanfiction blog about your love life in the BAU. Not that I would know anything about that. But even if you're not a tech genius yet, you might have other skills that cybersecurity experts need. Cybersecurity is about more than understanding bits and bytes. To beat black hat hackers, you have to be able to think outside the box. So if you're imaginative, curious, and creative, you might just be the new perspective cybersecurity needs. But if you try it and find cybersecurity isn't for you, you can easily pivot your skills into a new field. 
Computer science, information technology, and software engineering are similar degrees that you can easily shift into. Those majors use the same tech background and programming skills you'll learn in cybersecurity for different purposes, like maintaining network functions other than security, or building new apps and technologies. Of course, like with any degree, cybersecurity programs come with some challenges you'll want to look out for. You'll have to juggle a demanding curriculum. And you'll need to develop theoretical and practical skills while wading your way through challenging problem-solving activities. On top of that, technology and the ways we use it are changing rapidly. And that means how we approach cybersecurity has to evolve too. You'll have to adjust on the fly and keep up on the latest advances, even in your classes, which can be tough if you're not used to being flexible. One way to embrace this challenge is to stay curious. And remember that tough challenges are a great way to grow your skills. And when it's time to get a job after graduation, all that hard work will pay off. You'll be armed with a skill set that's useful in a range of industries and job roles. Once you graduate, you'll get to take those sweet cybersecurity skills and tackle real world threats. Cybersecurity grads are prepared for entry level positions in any industry where people need to protect digital info, which is pretty much all of them. So you can get involved everywhere, from the hotels at Disney World, to the files at the Pentagon, to the pop-ups on Google that remind your grandparents to keep their passwords to themselves. Digital information needs more than one line of defense, which means organizations need cybersecurity professionals to fill multiple roles. You could work as a cyber risk analyst, examining and classifying threats to your organization, and creating frameworks and processes to control them. Or if you want to get even deeper into the action, you might work as an incident responder, using your quick draw coding skills to stop active cybersecurity breaches and control the damage afterward. And if criminal minds is more your vibe, you might become a digital forensic examiner, combing through systems, files, and data to help solve past cybercrimes and prevent future ones. Of course, salaries vary depending on where you live and who you work for. But in any of these roles, you can expect to do pretty well, in the ballpark of $100,000 a year. And if you really just love learning about cybersecurity, you could go to grad school before you start your career. Grad school isn't required for most jobs in this field, but if you want to further your expertise, a master's in cybersecurity can qualify you for more advanced positions, increase your salary, and give you an even deeper understanding of the field you love. Whatever cybersecurity job role you pursue, you'll be going into a high pressure and fast paced work environment where the stakes are big and the rewards are even bigger. Cybersecurity graduates have tons of job opportunities opportunities in many different fields. And the opportunities keep on growing, for better or worse. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts a 32% increase in information security analyst positions between 2020 and 2030. That means about 16,800 new jobs should be opening up every year, more than you'd expect to see for any other occupation. With a degree in cybersecurity, you'll be prepared to dive into one of the fastest growing career fields today, with tons of unique and exciting opportunities. Whether you want to save your grandparents from phishing, protect company data from ransomware, or keep those black hat hackers' hands off your embarrassing essay, there's a role out there for every aspiring white hat. And just like those cowboys, you'll get to use your fast hands, your sharp wit, and your trusty ThinkPad steed to keep order on the digital frontier. If you want to investigate more degrees before you choose a major, check out our other videos in this playlist. To find out how to earn college credit with Study Hall, go to gostudyhall.com or click on the link here or in the description. And if you want to help us out, give this video a like and a comment to let us know how you chose your degree or what you wish you had known before you started your degree. Thanks for watching.